This is going to be a video on the rapper Juice World, and if his lyrics that have the F word and the GD word and all of the drug use references and sex, if that didn't convince you that you shouldn't listen to this kind of music, then I'm going to show you some other reasons why. First off, just look at his tattoos here. Here is Juice World's tattoos. He's got Abyss written here, which is the name of one of his rap songs. And then he puts the 999. That's his lucky number, 999. He says it's it's flipping 666 around. He says he's making it positive. And he says that uh, any time that something bad has happened in his life, he just uses that 999 and it makes it positive. But if you look here, it's on his wrist, and when he's looking down at it, it says 666 when he looks at it. So, you know, I'd hate to wake up every day, look down at my wrist, and see 666 on my wrist. And that's where the mark of the beast is going to be, which is 666. If you look at Revelation 13, 18, it says, Here is wisdom, let him that hath the understanding... Count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. Now, it says in Revelation fourteen nine and ten, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of God, which is poured out without mixture and to the cup of his indignation, and he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. Isn't it weird that uh, Juice World, whether he calls it 999 or not, when he looks down at it, he sees 666 on his wrist, and he's got other people putting that on their wrist. That's just weird. But, you know, you say, well, that's the wrist, but look at this. The wrist is a part of the hand in the Bible. It says here in Genesis, And it came to pass, as the camels had done drinking, that the man took a golden earring of half a shekel weight and two bracelets for her hands. You put bracelets on your wrist. So the Bible will refer to the wrist as part of the hand. Okay, what's something else? If we go back and look, Here's some more. On his hands he has lost soul. So he's tattooing on himself that he is a lost soul. And that's a sad thing. It's a tr tragic thing. The Bible says in 2 Corinthians here, But if our gospel be hid, it is hid to them that are lost. You don't want to be a lost soul. Because if you die that way, you're going to open your eyes in hell. You don't have to be a lost soul. You don't have to have the gospel hid to you. The Bible tells you the gospel. In 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4, it says, For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and that he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. So the gospel is this. Jesus Christ died for your sins. You're a sinner. You've sinned daily. And the price you pay for those sins is an eternity in hell. But Jesus Christ paid for those sins. And all you have to do is believe on him to be your payment for sin. And then you can be saved and go to heaven when you die. But he died for your sins. He shed his blood. The Bible says, in whom we have redemption through his blood even the forgiveness of sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins. He shed his blood. He was buried and he resurrected. He didn't stay dead. He rose again the third day, proving that he was God. You don't have to be a lost soul. You can believe that right now. You don't have to go to church to get saved. You can get saved right now where you're sitting. But Juice World brags basically of being a lost soul and then you see the 
uh, skull there. Once again with the 999. But when he's looking down at it, it says 666 inside of a skull. I mean, I understand he's got, it's the number 999, but uh, it's just odd to me. You know, I don't want to wake up and see 666 on my arm and my wrist. And then, you know, you got little uh, cover art or whatever this might be right here with the, not only does it look messed up, but he's got the all-seeing eye symbolism here. And, you know, the one-eye symbolism is big in the occult and things like that. And there you have the 999 again. It's just, it's just weird. Very weird. But, as I'm saying, that eye darkened there. Zechariah 11, 17. Woe to the idle shepherd that leaveth the flock. The sword shall be upon his arm, and upon his right eye. His arm shall be clean dried up, and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. That's the idle shepherd is a the prophecy of an of the Antichrist that's coming in the tribulation to bring that mark of the beast that I was just telling you about. And that's why you see all the one eye symbolism is because of that right there. Getting people prepared for that. And you think a lot of people think, well, this is irrelevant for you to, uh, for you to be uh, talking about this. You should just keep talking about, you know, you keep doing your verse by verse uh, on the Bible, which that's what I enjoy doing. But you know, that's that's only interesting to other Christians. Uh, I'm trying to get uh, uh, the attention of other people who maybe not know the gospel and who are out there just living in this sinful world, and maybe they're going to type in Juice World tomorrow, and maybe they'll see the video and, and be introduced to the gospel. You know, we need to love other people other than other Christians, and we need to love lost people who, who don't know any, really don't know any better. I mean, this Juice World guy, he probably had, didn't know any better. He probably never had somebody to give him the gospel. But, just to show you how uh, important this is, just look at his videos here. 3.9 million views, 10 million views, 88 or 84 million views, 594 million views just on that one video. I mean, I know that's probably the, the same people watching it over and over, but 594 million, that's more than is even in the United States. Uh, 264 million. The, I, I mean, this is early, and there's 1.1 thousand people watching this live stream of Juice World Radio right now. Eminem and Juice World, 266 million, 90 million, 28 million, 12 million, 16 million, 154 million, 175, 185. It's just this, I mean, this is a lot of time people spend listening to this rapper here who is very mixed up and confused. And that's why things are so bad, why they are so bad today, because the Bible says in 1 Corinthians, Be not deceived, evil communications corrupt good manners. That's what's wrong with people. Uh... Those rappers communicate to you through their lyrics. All the talk about killing people. All the talk about doing drugs. Uh, this guy has uh, drug use talk in almost every single song. Uh, he has depression talk. He's, it, the songs sound depressing. And uh, he's just he's cussing, saying filthy things. Evil communications corrupt good manners. If you wonder why you've got some issues and you're listening to this music, it's because you're listening to this music. Evil communications corrupt good manners. You can't listen to that stuff and it not affect you in some way. But now let's look at some of the lyrics here. And he has a lot of lyrics about demons and the devil. He says here, I said my demons are breaking out of their cage. On my knees I pray for better days. And it's just, you know, I can't read it all. It's a lot of, of cussing many times. 
right up here he says demons in my heart they destroy me like a vandal I mean that's exactly right but you know I don't want to make a song talking about demons but it's true that they do destroy you in the gospel of John it says the thief which is the devil cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy but Jesus says I am come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly uh, whether or not uh, you think juice world is is for the devil or against the devil you know his lyrics alone prove that he's for the devil I mean he's talking about sinful stuff in his songs that go completely against God here's another one he says the devil hit my phone he want to talk but I'm not really up for conversations you know he's all he's always uh, referring to talking about the devil he says flames everywhere I see Satan demons trying to run up in my spot a lot so just constant use of the devil Satan demons flames everywhere that's referring to hell most likely and that's what's in hell, everlasting fire. In Matthew 25, 41, Jesus himself said, Then shall he say unto them on the left hand, Depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. If you go to hell, you're going to the place that wasn't even really prepared for you. Initially, it was prepared for the devil and his angels. And that's who you're going to be there with. Now here is more demons hold on to her hair or who brought the devil in here demons hold on to her hair it's just, the devil wanting me but I ain't ever care I sell my soul then I go right and take it back he says all my demons I'm starting to feed that so just constantly using devil demons it's, I mean, it's pretty openly satanic. But, I mean, this was a young man here, Juice World. Uh, Jared Anthony Higgins, known professionally as Juice World, was an American rapper, singer, and songwriter from Chicago. His song Lucid Dreams has been played on music streaming platform Spotify over one billion times. So you think this isn't worthy to talk about? I think it is. Uh, people need to be made well aware that this is wrong. Born in December 2nd, 1998, he was just young. Died in 2019, so 21 years old, he died. And that's that's a horrible thing. But uh, in his songs, you hear him saying, you know, I hope the, uh, uh, the devil wants me to die, things like that. I'm, I'm paraphrasing right now. But I heard him uh, use a couple, a couple lyrics saying that the devil wanted him to die or something like that. I, I can't find it now. But I think he mentions it in that uh, "Lucid Dream" song and some other song. But it's uh, that's just strange, you know. He some of the songs that he's come out with after he died, I guess he had pre-recorded talk about mention death and things like that it's almost like he knew that you know he's he's do, into some bad stuff and it's not going to be long before the devil just kills him and that's what will happen the devil will use you for a while the bible says the pleasures of sin only last for a season uh, the pleasure of sin it only lasts for a little while and then the devil just just gets you and that's probably what happened to Juice World. But that shouldn't happen to you. You don't want that to happen to you. You don't want to be like Juice World and die at a young age. The Bible says bloody and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. He had a tattoo on his arm or somewhere that said hell proof. But he's not hell proof if he did not believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. He died as a lost soul just like it said on his, his hands. And now while he's dead, he's got all these songs he came out with that people are still listening to and he's leading other lost souls on the way to hell. And, I mean, he, he's dead now. And he can't come back. 
He was only 21 years old. Death is a sure thing. You're going to die. I don't know if you've thought about death or are thinking about death, but you, you need to be thinking about where you're going to go when you die. The Bible says in Hebrews 9, 27, And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this, the judgment. So everybody's going to die. And then one day you're going to face God at a judgment. And if, you, if you've been in hell, then it's not going to be on whether you go to heaven or hell. It's going to be how bad the lake of fire is going to be for you for all eternity. But you don't need to go through that because you've heard the gospel. I've gave you the gospel. Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and resurrected. And all you have to do to be saved is put your trust in that to go to heaven. Just like you're trusting in that chair to hold you up, you come to Jesus and trust in him to get you to heaven. It's more than just believing he's real. It's putting your trust in him. You're trusting in him to get you to heaven. But it's so simple to be saved. Get saved before it's too late. They asked the Apostle Paul, you know, what must I do to be saved? And he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Believe on him. Put your faith on the Lord Jesus Christ. Romans 10, 13 says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So you've heard the gospel. You've heard that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins. He was buried and resurrected. You say, well, I get that, but I, I just don't really understand. Well, come to Jesus right now the best way you know how. And, and say, Lord, I'm, I'm, I'm relying on you to be my payment for sin. I know that you died on the cross for me. I know that you were buried and resurrected. Come to the Lord like that. And it says, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And you can have eternal life if you'll do that right now. You don't have to just be a lost soul and listen to this sinful music the rest of your life and do all this stuff that's just bringing you down and making you depressed for the rest of your life. You can come to the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be happier than you ever imagined because you'll know you're going to heaven. You'll know that, you know, this world isn't all there is. But I hope that this video has opened your eyes to this sinful uh, music such as Juice World, And it's a tragedy that he's dead now and is most likely in hell. Hopefully somebody gave him the gospel before he died. But most likely they did it. But you don't have to turn out that way. You can believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and be saved and go to heaven when you die.